what's up guys it's me angry birds fan 1234 and in this video i am going to be showing you guys my skylanders collection because i am a huge fan of skylanders i have all the games a bunch of characters and i'm just going to be showing you my collection and i have a fair fairly large collection of skylanders and Depending on how long the video gets, I might have to split this up into two parts. So, let's get right to it. So, the first Skylander I have is Kingpin from Skylanders Imaginators. The newest installment in the Skylander series, which is still fairly old, coming out in 2016. So, this is Kingpin. He's kind of a penguin dude. He is of the water element and brawler class. Because for Skylanders Imaginators, they have classes. Battle classes. So this one is Kingpin. Now he's in... He is a little bit broken, as you can see here. But he still works. You can even just put his legs on the portal, which is kind of funny. But no, it doesn't change the look of him. He's still full kingpin in the game even if his legs are the only thing there so next skylander so this next skylander is golden queen she's of the earth element and is this part of the sorcerer class now some of you people who might have played skylanders in the past might be asking well why is a villain a skylander well in Imaginators, they ha they actually have some villains as senseis in Imaginators. I don't know why, they just kind of chose to do that. So, she's actually not too bad of a Skylander, so still pretty cool. Then we have Airstrike. A sensei from Imaginators. Oh, is a brawler, just like Kingpin, but of the air element. He's actually a really good sensei. I totally recommend, if you do play Skylanders Imaginators, this is a sensei you would want to get, if that's what you normally play as. So, he's, a, he's really good. He's got a cool bird thing. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. So, then I have the acorn version of the life creation crystal so this one's pretty cool with these creation crystals if you don't know you can create your own skylanders on them choose their battle class and whatnot so yeah they're pretty cool i've made some very cool characters so yeah okay and this is the air creation crystal for your imaginators this is the winged variant of it. So this one is also pretty cool. Got a cool character on it. Yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. This one actually looks really nice with the wings. It's got a nice touch to it. And this is the dark creation crystal. This one is the reactor variant for it. So yeah, this one's pretty cool. Sadly, the battle class is the same as one of the other ones that I have, so I'm going to figure out a way to reset it. And when I do, he will be a ninja class. Sadly, this one's a knight, same as my air one, so. But when I do figure out how to reset it, it will become that. So, this one is actually is pretty cool, too. And this is the earth creation crystal. This one is really, this is the armor variant of the creation of the earth creation crystal this one is really cool looking it's got like armor on it it looks really nice so yeah and this is the fire creation crystal this is also a reactor variant same as the dark one so this one is also pretty cool this is the very first creation crystal that I ever got because it came with the starter pack. Which is how I got Golden Queen and Kingpin. This came with that. So this one I've had the longest. And now we're moving on to the Superchargers game. 
This one is all kind of vehicle-based game. So this character is Spitfire. He's he's missing a hand, but still works. Pretty cool. This character is the one I usually play as. He's actually really cool looking. He's got good abilities. And this is his vehicle, hot the Hot Streak. This one also has real cool attack abilities and is overall just a really good vehicle and good looking. And this one is Super Shot Stealth Elf. So this one is of the life element. In case you didn't know, Spitfire is from the fire element. I forgot to mention that. And then this is her vehicle, the Stealth Stinger. This one is an air vehicle. This one is actually pretty cool looking. It's got a really nice design to it. So overall, pretty cool. And then this is an air vehicle that I have. I do not have the character that goes with this vehicle. And I, f I forgot the name of the vehicle, but that doesn't really matter. This one is pretty cool. This is the one I usually use when I have air missions to do. So overall, this one is pretty cool. And, and it has a really nice design to it. And this one is the Dive Bomber. I do not have the character for this one either. This one is for water missions. And check this out. You spin this, it turns the propeller. It's actually really cool. This I don't have any other water vehicles. So this is the one I use for my water missions. So, yeah, nice design and it's pretty cool. And this Skylander is from the Trap Team game, the third game, wait, no, not the third, the fourth game in the Skylander series. His name is Kaboom. He is a Trap Master and is of the Fire Element. And his Traptanium weapon is a giant cannon thing. And it's actually pretty cool looking. Gotta say. And look at those muscles on that boy. I wish I had muscles like that. Now, I have duplicates for this character. I have two of them. This one is Head Rush. She is of the Earth Element, and her Traptanium weapon is actually like giant horns on her head. I mean, the design looks actually really cool. So, yeah. She is also a Trap Master. And pretty cool. And this Skylander is Snapshot. He is a crocodile looking guy. He is of the water element. And his Traptanium weapon is this actually really cool looking like bow thing. It almost looks like it shoots out giant swords. It's crazy but cool looking. So yeah. And here we have Crypt King. His trap he is a trap master and his weapon is a giant traptanium sword. And if you didn't know, fun fact that Crypt King was actually originally supposed to be a Skylander's giant. He was supposed to be one of the giants in the game Skylander's Giants. And he was supposed to be the magic element. But then I guess they decided not to and then put him as a trap master instead. He is of the undead element. And he has a really cool design and pretty good moveset. So he's pretty cool. And this is Jawbreaker. He is of the he's a trap master of the tech element. He's like a robot, a really cool robot looking dude. And his Traptanium weapons are actually like giant traptanium fists that look really cool so yeah that's all there really is to him and this is blaster mind his traptanium weapon is like these crystals and this giant hat looking thing it's actually pretty cool he looks short he's he's kind of floating on a cape 
He's of the magic element, so he actually looks kind of cool. This is Gusto. He is a kind of big dude. He is of the air element, and his Traptanium weapon is this ginormous boomerang. I mean, look at the size of that thing. That thing is huge. So, he is pretty cool. He's also got a nice design. What is that, a unicorn horn? Looks like he... Looks like he's got a unicorn horn on his head. <laughs> and this is Bushwhack. I have two... Uh, I have a duplicate of him. Well, and on one of them, the his giant axe thing is broken. As you can see right here. But he still works. He's a trap master of the life element. And his giant axe thing is... Well, a Traptanium weapon. So, he's he's got a nice design. He's pretty cool. So, yeah. I'll, also, I just noticed his head is basically just an acorn. It's just an acorn with a face. Huh. And this is Nightlight. He is of the light element. And his Traptanium weapon is this... Really cool giant sword. He's got wings on him. And he's pretty cool looking, but under his helmet, it looks like he is almost human. Hmm. I think there's something going on here. And this is Nightmare. Mare as in a horse, because she is half horse. And her Traptanium weapon is this sword that actually looks pretty dope. She's of the Dark Element. And Trap Team actually is the game to first introduce the Dark and Light Elements. So, pretty cool. And this character is Winterfest Lobstar. This one is a... Ver this one is a variant for the original lobster but this lobster still looks pretty cool he's of the water element and yes his arm is kind of kind of broke off but he still works he has these giant ninja stars as his traptanium weapons so he is also pretty cool and this is food fight he is not a trap master he is what's called a core character and he is of the life element and has a tomato gun. He shoots tomatoes out of a gun. He's is just a walking, talking plant. And this is Deja Vu. She is of the magic element and is also a core character. Is not a trap master. But is still has but still has a pretty nice design. So She's got that going for her. So, pretty cool. And this is Blades, also a core character. And his name is Blades because, guess what? He has blades on the edge of his wings and as a tail. How creative. Oh my gosh. So, he's like a dragon. He's of the air element and is a core character. So, he, he does have a pretty nice design, and is pretty cool, <clears throat> except for the name. <clears throat> so, yeah. Now, this video is getting too large for my phone to have enough storage for, so stay tuned for a part two on the rest of my Skylanders collection. I will do the characters from the next three games, the, the first three games. So, yeah, stay tuned for that video, so I will see you guys next time.